Bula everyone, my name is Vani Neilumu. I study here at the Crawford School of Public Policy at the ANU and I'll be talking on uh, globalization, how global global policies, global social policies influence domestic policies. So prior to commencing studies here at the ANU, I worked at the Ministry of Employment back in Fiji and I've experienced firsthand how global social policies or how global corporations or global agencies like the ILO influence domestic policies. One perfect example is how the global financial crisis was a window of opportunity for ILO as an international agency to set the agenda, set the agenda for global policy around employment standards. So within the wake of the, the global financial crisis in 2008, ILO created the Global Jobs Pact, which transcended down to how Fiji, Fiji set the employment standard policies around labor mobility, formal employment services, and that shows how international organizations have steering power in, in setting uh, what policies should look or be like. With that, with that being said, Despite the power of global global corporations like the ILO, the UN in setting global social policies or global social policy agenda, domestic actors like the state still play a fundamental role. Domestic actors like the state hold decision-making power. They, at the end of the day, decide what is being implemented and what isn't. 